Good morning, guys. It is November 2nd, Sunday morning. And by morning, I mean early morning. It is 7.30 and we're back at it. Our shenanigans going to Hoboken for the Manchester United game. But this is not just any Manchester United game. This is the Manchester Derby, right? For those who don't know, every year in English English Premier League, English soccer, there's <clears throat> there's a game where two of the biggest teams in in England go head to head, and they're from the same area. Same city. Same city. So, if I can make a quick comparison of the game, for those who know who the who Barcelona and Real Madrid are, you know how they come to a clash every year and they have El Clasico. This is like the El, the Clasico for England. And so if you don't speak. know anything about soccer and stuff, <coughs> just compare it to the Subway Series. There you go. That is a very good comparison. Thank you, my darling. Very good. Thank yeah, you got a pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> So that's today at 8.30 hour time, Eastern Standard Time. Um, so it's very, very, very early. So yeah, we're, we were going to go to New York, but then if we wanted to go to New York, we had to wake up even early. Er. And today's the New York Marathon, so, so it was going to be absolutely bananas over there. So We decided, apparently under my sleepness I said that we weren't gonna go anywhere we're gonna say we're gonna just stay at home mm -hmm. I don't recall that and, and you can't you can't get judged or blamed or blame excuse me for things that you say while you're still sleeping so I woke up and we were gonna go and I said let's go to Hoboken and you said no you said no 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 I was mm -hmm. like no I was sleeping no it doesn't count it gets annulled mm -hmm. So we're going to Hobo. I'm making an executive decision. The gavel and has it's been brought down. It's cold out there. It's blistering cold. Okay, out there. we came to Hobo for Halloween too. We haven't vlogged in a while. I'm sorry, I always say that. I always say I'm gonna get better. It doesn't seem to happen. On, uh, on Friday, the Halloween, when we came down here to Hobo, we didn't vlog just because um, we were with friends. the friends we were with, yo. Know, I don't know if you guys, if we ever told you guys, but you know, like the friends we have, they don't really look at YouTube or they don't really like understand. understand it. <laughs> so they don't understand what we do. So when we've like brought it up to them, like we watch these people or we watch those people, they're like, oh, why do you even do that? It's pretty stupid or whatever. You know, like that's my friends. My friends say, think that it's stupid. You know? So <clears throat> I don't even tell them for what? I'm not even gonna vlog with them, so you know, they're not gonna want it or whatever the case may be. So that's why when we're out with friends, we hardly ever vlog. And we'll probably vlog before or after, but not while we're with them. Because mm -hmm. you know, some of them just don't want it and some of them just don't understand it. Yeah. So, and it's like you when you're bar hopping and so are 20,000 other people. It's not really an ideal time to be vlogging. Like there was lines to get into every single bar in Hoboken, which there's like hundreds of bar in Ho bars in Hoboken. But it, we were doing like a pub crawl and every single bar had at least a 15 to 20 minute line to get in. So it's not like it was just us at a bar relaxing. No, it was absolutely packed and there probably wouldn't have been any good footage anyway because everyone was so packed and we were drinking and uh, I don't know if that would make for a fun vlog. <laughs> Maybe for them it would be fun to see us drunk, yeah. but no, I don't, I don't think I want to put myself out there like that. <laughs> Just saying. But anyways, quick rundown, Friday. We came out the whole boat again. did a pub crawl. Um, we went to these two bars. Just because we've been there, we like the place, we like the environment of those bars or whatever. So we ended up going to those bars. We were going to try to go to different bars, but just the way the lines were in every single oh, bar. Oh, and it started pouring out, so it kind of 
stopped us from wanting to venture out even more. Yeah, we were like, you know what, let's just stick to what we know, stick to our guns and go there. Needless to say, regardless, we still ended up waiting in these in these to go into these bars, but we ended up getting in. Um, at one of them, which is a uh, Scotland Yard. Uh, we got in, their drink specials were over at 10, we ended up getting in at like 11 something. Mm -hmm. So we ended up having to pay regular price for for those drinks. We had a few drinks there, we were like, you know what, let's try to go to the Village Poor House. You know, um, their drink specials are till like 2 in the morning, we, you know, take advantage of this, you know, this thing that we, even, we paid for. Mm -hmm. So we ended up going there, once we get there, the lot the line is like at the so at the corner. Yeah, and the bar is like at the middle of the block. We're over here hearing people talking about there's like an hour away. It's pouring rain, right? And we're like, you know what? Let's just stay to this one because we're not gonna get into anywhere else because the lines are ridiculous everywhere. Yeah. So we're like, you know what? You're right. Let's just stay to this one. We'll you know, try our best to get into this. For some reason, it ended up being quicker. We got in. We had good drinks. You know, they had sad their drink specials. It's like three dollar beers and um, five dollar mixed drinks. It was awesome. So okay. we ended up just staying there until the, the lights came out on and kicked us out. Yep. So and we Ubered. Ubered. <laughs> and we Ubered ourselves home. And we got home almost at four in the morning. So it was a good night. Good night. I for those who, who were living on the rock like I was till last year, um, who don't know what Uber is, Uber is uh, if you have a smartphone, you have to have a smartphone. If you have one of those flip phones that don't even have internet, go get a smartphone. <laughs> um, yeah, you have to get a smartphone and then you download the Uber app, get the re you register, whatever. And you can just order your taxi from your phone. Mm -hmm. It's pretty dope. It gives you a picture of your driver what car he's driving, where he's at, he calls you when you're there, you get in the car, and it tells you the whole time where he's going. It's awesome. Because mm -hmm. I've had an experience where I got into a taxi, and the guy was going through a, ro a road or whatever, and I said politely, sir, you know, if you take this road, it's quicker. And he goes, oh, well, I don't know if what you're going to do to me if I take that road. He's like, well, I don't know what you're going to do to me if you're taking this road. Long story short, he pulled over, got out the car, we almost got into a big huge fist fight over it. And I said, you know what? This one I will never take a taxi. And then I found out Uber. So yeah, I'm gonna go back on my word. And I'll take Ubers from now on. I'll take Ubers from now on. Thank you very much. Over here, so I'll catch you later. So we decided to go out for a walk and we headed to our nearest Starbucks. So we're having a panini and our first red cups of the season. I have a gingerbread a latte. He has his favorite caramel boule. Are you excited it's holiday Starbucks season? Yes. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna eat this. It's really cold out, so we're kind of defrosting. My ears are getting a little wind burned. Hey guys, it's November 3rd. It's Monday. And that guy is home. Hello, guy. Hi, woman. Why are you here? Uh, I don't want to be here. I should be at work. Why are you here? My car took a crap on me. My starter decided it didn't want to work no more. Mm -hmm. So, I had to come back from work, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Sweet here. I don't like being home when I'm supposed to be at work. It feels very strange. It does. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's nine. And when we got home, we haven't even told them. So, I guess let's tell them. We got to. Big giant reveal. Yeah. She's pregnant. No. <laughs> that ruined all the fun. I do. But well. yeah, guys, check it out. So as you all know, 
And if you don't know, you're gonna find out now. <laughs> um, this month, mm -hmm. well, every year in Orlando, typically it happens, right? Mm -hmm. Big YouTube. You start, you're starting to guess what it is. <laughs> Big huge YouTube convention, um, playlist live. So, mm -hmm. I think it's the first year, maybe. Yeah. The first year here in the tri-state area, New York, New Jersey, and that girl and this guy are going. Yeah, we found out there is going to be one in New Jersey, and being as we live here, we thought it would be the perfect opportunity to go and network with other YouTubers, maybe meet some of you guys, or meet other YouTubers and learn from them and grow and get context, which would be pretty cool since we're not that into the YouTube world. Like, we do it for fun, but we've never really networked with that many YouTubers yeah. to be part of anything big. There's going to be a lot of YouTubers. There's going to be a lot of YouTubers there. There's going to be business courses, and there's going to be other type of panels, which we are really excited to be going to. And they have, like, a big party, too, right? I believe so, yes. We can mingle and jingle our butts together. So. Mm -hmm. And for that special day, we made a special little purchase. Yeah. And we got home today and they were here. And they're over there. So, this was mine. We got shirts to wear. And this is the MV show, like on a computer monitor with a little loading um, bar. And then the bag says subscribe DMV show. And we liked the way that that came out because it's kind of like like old theme show kind of letters. And since our vi our videos, it's just, there's, there's our some, channel's there's name some. is DMV show, we kind of feel like it's kind of like a show. And that's pretty cool. And then the really cool part, I really think this is cute. Yeah, this is pretty cool. On the sleeve, it says, I'm a YouTuber. And his is in like a neon green. He has these shoes that would go perfectly with that. Mm-hmm. And then do you want to show them mine? Yeah, why not? And mine is at neon pink. And it's pretty much the same concept. Same thing. The MV show, loading, subscribe, the MV show, and... Work oh with my. me, sure. Work with me. YouTuber. <laughs> Your shirts are so small. Well, I feel like that shirt's huge. No, I mean like when I touch my shirt oh. and I touch your shirt, I feel like <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna break it. <laughs> <laughs> and I got mine in like a slight V-neck because I like V-neck shirts. Um, I ordered a large, not knowing how they were gonna fit, and the large is huge. I should have stayed with my regular medium size. But whatevs. They're 100% cotton, so they'll shrink. <laughs> so, at least. Bam! In my face. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know what to do with myself, guys. I guess I'm gonna play FIFA. And I'll edit. Oh, you gotta edit? Yeah, I haven't edited. Then I will play before. FIFA. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I go to like marathons where I'm like really good and I'm up to date. And then I get lazy, and then I stop editing, and I still have, I, I have a video from like two, three weeks ago for my beauty channel that's still on my computer, not edited, and I have a whole bunch of vlogs that I need to edit. So yeah, guys, um, in the f coming months, um, whenever we're, we're just hanging out at home or whatever, and we do vlog. I probably you probably won't see a whole lot of me. I'll probably be in a little corner with a book stuck to my face. What you trying to do to me, Willis? <laughs> 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 nah, but like you know, the reason why I'm not gonna be so involved in YouTubing and helping Marcel out with YouTube or whatever, is because I really need to study. Um. I have a couple, I gotta go back to school next month, um, and I got a couple tests and stuff that I gotta do to get my license, as you know, um, or if you don't know, 
Um, I went to school for aircraft mechanic or aircraft technician is the actual term. Um, so yeah, so I really need to start, you know, buckling down and really studying again because I got to start taking my uh, government test to get my license and I gotta start, you know, working on that, man. All my, all the guys I already graduated with, all my friends that I did it, they're already working. Mm-hmm. And the, we all made a pact. We're all going to be united at United. <laughs> so that's what we're all that's what we're all trying to do like we're all trying to get back we're all trying to like have the crew together again at working all everyone at united that'd be funny that would be funny i mean they're they're all pretty much working in the same company now mm. um yeah because it's like two of them work in the same exact company the other one works um other within people. within the same company it's like <laughs> An umbrella of that company. Mm. So, like, they all work in the same company, pretty much. Oh. And the other one works for the same company as they all do, but just in a different airport. Mm-hmm. But we're all just trying to, you know, work Integrate. at Newark and work in United. Mm-hmm. You know, have the whole crew back again. Yep. But I need to really step up my game and get to it. So, you've been warned, if you don't see my face as often... It's because I'm, I got a book stuck to it. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah. I need to start rethinking about taking online courses or doing something. <laughs> um, to get some type of degree, especially geared towards kids. Like, um, I was going to school when we first started going to school to be a teacher. Um... I took a couple classes. There was one class in particular that kind of turned me off to teaching and the whole idea behind it. But being here and working at my job, working with kids again, it really like showed me that that's kind of totally what I want to do. <laughs> kind of totally. That is what I want to do with my life and I enjoy it and I have a passion for it. So I need to start looking into if I could take some online courses or something like that to finish, at least get a bachelor's in that in early childhood education um, which covers all pre-k till second grade which is pretty much the highest I personally would think I would like to teach um, so yeah I need to start doing something start going back to school as well yeah so what do you guys do I want let me know in the comments below if you're in school what are you studying what do you want to do? If you're already past that in your life, what do you do now? I know sometimes like you, you go to school and you have this mindset like, oh, I want to do this. And you end up doing uh, something completely different. <laughs> you know, whatever circumstances, you don't really have to go into detail. But life, I know life gets in the way. So. Yep. Life, life is something else, I say. <laughs> it's the truth. For real. Like, I know, I know people where, like, they're like, oh, I'm going to be a doctor. And you end up working at, like, as a doctor's assistant or something. No, it's not even that. I feel like, um, like, when you go into college, there's a lot of people that have a major that since they were five, they wanted to do. But once you start taking classes in it, you actually start learning what it's about. And there's times where you really don't like it. And I feel like that's what college is for. You're there to learn about what you're going to do. And if it's not for you, then you know what? Just change your major. You're not there to just... No way. If you're in college, you should know what you want to do. No, because people sometimes think that they know. And once they start taking classes in it, it's not what they think. When you're paying 22 a semester, you should probably know what the heck you want to do. I know, but it's not like all the classes are just geared towards one major. You're going to have in a semester probably one, especially when you're starting out, it's going to be one class, if anything, that's geared towards your major. Everything else are general courses that work for anything that you're taking. I do have a message, though, for those for my YouTube subscribers. If you are still in like high school or elementary school and, you know, those of you that are in high school, for example, 
and you still don't know what you want to do or whatever, don't look at technical careers as something bad. Because mm -hmm. I know, like, back back when I went to school, technical careers, people actually, like, you know, they try to, like, gear you towards it, you know? Like, it wasn't such a bad thing. Like, I don't know, I feel like now they look at it like it's such a bad thing, you know? Because they don't have a college degree. Yeah, because you don't have a college degree or whatever. Don't look at it as bad. You know, you could be making the same as a doctor. Just working with your hands or just do something, something like technical. You're passionate about. Do something you like. Don't go to. I mean, if you need to go to college and you want to go to college, go to college for sure. Get your degree. There's nothing wrong with that. But on the other side of the token, on the coin, if you don't want to and you want to choose something technical, go for it. There's a lot of good paying. Welders get paid a lot of good money. That didn't make sense. But they got to pay good money. <laughs> um, or like girls. I know like a lot of you probably started watching us here because of my beauty channel and things like that. If you want to go to cosmetology school, do that. If that's something you're passionate about sure. and you actually love doing hair or doing makeup mm -hmm. on your free time, that's all you could think about doing, go for it. It's not something that should be looked down upon because you didn't go to college if that's what you have as a passion and that's what's going to make you happy and enjoy going to work every day and not make you feel like such a terrible burden that's a job that you have to oh man here i go again i have to go to work then do it that's what you should be doing For sure. because there's a lot of us that get stuck in positions where we don't know what we want to do or something and then going to work is a burden and you're like really work again like where I'm working now, yeah, obviously it's a job and there's times where you kind of get annoyed of being there. But I love my job. Like going in there and being with 30 little kids, not knowing what's going to come out of their mouths, it's hilarious. Like somebody could say some things and I'm like, how, how, how did you even think about this? Yeah. And like, it's just so funny. I just love it.